All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Do you have the address? Then all over KGPL. South Temple Street, between Belmont and Maine. I don't want no part You're behind the wheel. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eggs. Tinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. I'll leave the theorizing until after you've examined her for yourself. Cause what caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Interesting. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, Magdalia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. some kind of puzzle or parlor game. The Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? Can't be the one used on the body. When we get to the bomber, the man could die of thirst.
How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here in a little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. Where's that goddamn? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. Well, it's a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. Has she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Yes, I always have. The old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stow the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McCole. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. You want a tip? You fill my coffee next time. Honey. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? 
I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. Where's that goddamn wait? You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Great. How are we going to look getting around in this? Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. Jacob could give us something to go. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Request technical services for suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. <laughs> 